Hey guys, welcome back to Bug Fables. Um, in the last part, we sort of did the tutorial and I ended off things a little bit early so I could try to fix this uh, recording uh, issue I'm having where I'm not able to see the dialog boxes because of the PlayStation overlay. Um, unfortunately, I don't think I will be able to fix it, so I will not be able to read all the dialogue in this game. Hopefully that won't uh, interfere with the playthrough too much since my voice acting is kind of cringe anyway. Uh, so let's just continue. Wow, this... I, I'm already liking the music in this game, by the way. It's really nice. Huh. So I got two guys over here. Hey, why are you hitting that crystal? You can break it, you know? Huh? You really don't know? Just tell us why. Forget my partner. Something. Her mouth is most, most loose. This is an ancient crystal, correct? They're unique to this land. Correct. They can save the record of previous travelers if you smack them with something. This crystal is yellow, so it will even heal your wounds. You expect me to believe that? All that awesome stuff for hitting a rock? Heh. <laughs> you, you are one of little faith. Come on, Levi. Stop. Something. Um, would you like to save? Yes. Why not? It is done. Whoa, it really works. This must sell for a fortune. All you'll get for the crystal is prison. All you'll get for this crystal is prison time. <laughs> Only the Ant Queen can authorize placing these rocks in public spaces. Even if you find one in the wild, they're too heavy to be carried by a single bug. There goes that. Uh, there goes that idea. Still, their properties are amazing. Let's use them when we can, V. Yeah, sure. Let's get a move on. Best of luck. Best of luck. All right, neat. Got a slug man here. Can't talk to him. Ah, these rocks are getting in the way of our trade routes. If this isn't cleared soon, we'll lose money. Get on with it, ants. This should never even happen. Yeah, he's really mad. I understand my customer is upset, but there's nothing we can do until the rocks are cleared. Um, huh, I should have gone into the city earlier. Now I have to wait until this mess is cleared. Heave ho, heave ho. Alright, so I guess the idea is that we can't go this way yet, uh, because our objective is to go to, to the west, to Snake Mouth Den, or so they told us. Yes, so Snake Mouth Way is over here. I wonder if you can interact with the foliage in this game like you can in the other Paper Mario games. That'd be interesting. The path ahead leads to Snake Mouth Den. Currently only licensed exploration teams can pass. Do you have a permit? Yes. Alright, this checks out. I'll open up the gate. Safe travels, explorers. Alrighty. Now we can get into the meat of the game. Okay, that obviously looks like Paper Mario. Those little triangles on like the side of the loading zones. That is literally like ripped straight from Paper Mario. Either that or it's like a completely separate asset that belongs to both. That, that's just like, I guess it, it might not be copyrighted. I don't fucking know. So we can switch turn order with square. I can also make him attack first by pressing circle so I don't have to switch his position. That's interesting. I'm assuming Spy is like Tattle from Paper Mario, so I'm gonna try that. Oh, I missed. What? Wait, I missed one time, so I lose the action command? That's kind of weird. Alright. It's one of those seedlings. Annoying. Annoying. They're all over the outskirts, but don't even drop good items. Let's just beat the. Let's just beat them already. So they've got 4 HP. It even tells you how many you've seen and defeated. That's pretty cool. Alright, let's kill them. I am pressing X, but I guess I'm not doing it, like, soon enough. I don't have the timing down yet. Oh. Six exploration points. I guess that's like our star points in this game. 
Alright. Uh, I think I'm gonna use that crunchy leaf because V here is low on health. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna use hard mode because that doesn't sound too fun. Maybe I'll do like... Maybe when I play this game by myself, I'll play that. But I don't... I can't imagine that'll be too fun. Alright, so this guy is flying. How am I gonna hit him? It's one of those sepia, annoying seedlings. Oh, it's the same thing. Okay. So it's registered as the same enemy, even though it's flying and it has a spike on its head, I think? Well, I can't attack it, so I guess I have to use taunt. Oh, I missed the timing on that. Oop. I guess I... Yeah, I could hit him with the boomerang and knock him down. So he's like a Paragoomba, I guess. That's interesting. I really do like the music in this game. It's super nice. Even that little ditty they play at the end of a battle. Very cool. Hey, like attacking up close? Annoyed when an enemy's out of reach? Ask a friend who can fly or toss something at it to bring it down. Yeah, so that's teaching you how to deal with flying enemies, I guess. This is a lot different from Paper Mario in that, like... Even nor normal enemies give, like, way more star points in this game. Alright, toss the beamerang in a circular motion, multi-hit move that targets a single enemy. Alright. Oh, I missed one. Oh, that's okay, because I still killed it. So I'm sort of getting the idea of this game now. Um, that, yeah. We've got FP, we've got BP with, like, the medals. And we've got party switching. So, very reminiscent of all that. That is actually a really good skill, or a really good attack. Ah, I am not used to the timing on the guards yet. But that's okay, I'm getting used to it. Okay, so I guess these, like, berries that we find are, like, the currency or something, because that was a weird voice crack. <laughs> I guess they're, like, the currency that they drop. I don't know. We'll find out. I am doing a blind playthrough, so I don't know a whole lot. Okay. So you obviously have to attack him. Because he's flying. We'll get him to attack you. Neat. He only had one HP left, so I was able to cancel out the action uh, to kill him quicker. Oh, I missed. Oops. Kind of a shame I've already used up, like, all of my FP... Or my teamwork points, I guess, is what they're called in this game. So there's a guy over here. Excuse me, bug man. Bug something complexion, is everything alright? Hey, Kabu, we're supposed to be adventuring. Snake Mount then? Endless riches? Sorry, B, I can't... I can't, cannot ignore an old bug in distress. First of all, name's Chuck, and I'm better but younger than both of you. But if you gotta know, I'm almost done aging in my... I'm almost done scavenging my cozy rest space for travelers going to Snake Mouth Dead. I just can't pull out this darn weed. You call this cozy? Chuck, Snake Mouth, Snake Mouth Dead is more dangerous than rain on a wedding day. Shouldn't you be warning travelers? What is that joke? <laughs> dangerous? More dangerous than rain on a wedding day. What the fuck? Look, will you help me or not? 
I'm not doing anything, at least not for free. Hmm. Watch this feet. I press circle near small bushes or rocks. Oh. Oh, nice. Something like this is no match for my horn. I'll be, you actually helped me. This made my week. You got a reward ready, right? But V, helping out is already its own reward. And you didn't do anything. It's really, really not. Oh, <laughs> don't worry. Helpful bugs deserve gratitude. I ain't got much, but please take this. Ten berries. Berries, so many berries. Use them to buy something nice later, all right? Thank you. We surely will. We'll be going now. Make sure to warn others of the danger. If you are near something that can be interacted with using the horn, that'll show up. All right. So that's cool. A honey drop. Restores 5 TP. So it's like maple syrup from Paper Mario. That's neat. That's really cool. You can you can uh, interact with the foliage in this game. Um, but only with the right party members. Very cool. So, I'm assuming we have to go this way, but I wonder what's over here. It's the best part about exploring. Where are you going? Snake Mouth Dens through the Northwest. Uh, yeah, I knew that. Okay, I guess we have to go this way. Never mind. Alright, want to know more about the enemies you're fighting? Don't forget to use Spy. Well, I have been using that, so... That's something. I haven't been really finding much in these bushes. That's fine, though. Okay. I'm gonna target the flying guy. Knock him down. Oh, I blocked it that time. I blocked it both. I blocked them both. Sweet. I kind of got the timing down for that now. Or at least I think I do. Oh, you have a specific time that you have to hit? Ah, oh, man. Alright. I'm assuming when we get 100 exploration points, we level up. I have more health, more TP, or something like that. More metal points. Alright, another crunchy leaf. Gonna need that, probably. This is it, Snake Mouth Den. It doesn't look that dreary, you know? According to rumors we've heard, it is the grave of a thousand explorers. Having ended countless journeys, many a song have been written about its dangers. F for real? Its interior must be absolutely riddled with monsters and death traps. We must be extremely cautious. Jeez, way to sell me... Way to sell something me, Kabu. But the higher the danger, the better the treasure. Hmm. It's true that artifact is likely to be inside, but our simple rich is worth such a risk to you. Stop trying to scare me off. Let's just get in there. I must make sure he stays safe. Hmm. I think I'll actually keep Kabu in the front of my party, because V is able to hit um, multiple enemies. And Kabu is, like, more melee-oriented, and V has, like, range to him, so... What's this? Crystal Berry. You found a Crystal Berry. These are rare items sought by collectors. Maybe someone will trade them for rare goodies somewhere. Alright. So, I guess that's, like, star pieces or something? Maybe? I... Again, I'm not entirely sure. There's a lot of stuff going on in this game that is... That is I'm already in love with. Because it reminds me so much of Paper Mario. It's so nice. We're gonna save, obviously. And, uh, head on in Snake Mouth Den. Okay. There's much more light here. This room must be quite near the cracked ceiling. What a surprisingly cozy entrance. Uh-huh. Hey, Kabu, do you really have to comment on every small thing? Uh, I... I'm sorry. Hey, don't look so sad. Uh, how about this? If I wanna know something about where we are, about something or someone near us, I'll just tap the tap touchpad. Sounds good? 
very well. I will make sure to have information at hand for you when when we do. <laughs> cool. Now let's keep going. Uh, this room's quite cozy. Let's go before you jinx it. So I guess I could use the touchpad. It's like the fucking kind of like Goombario or Goombella in Paper Mario. They just tell you about the area you're in. That's pretty cool. Oh no. We got first striked. <laughs> Alright, I have no idea what this thing is, so I'm gonna spy on it. And in it just, this spiky bug is still in its larval stage. Although it has impressive armor, it stands no chance against my horn. So, Kabu's horn can pierce enemy armor. That's pretty cool. Yeah, his boomerang does nothing. <laughs> so I pretty much have to use Kabu for this. Oh, I knocked him over like a Koopa. Neat. Now I bet he has zero defense. Yep. <laughs> Heck yeah. This looks very cool. It's very cool. Alright. Very cool looking cave here. Honestly, all the level design so far is really cool looking. I like it. The bridge seems to be out. How are we gonna cross? Well, that's it. Game over. Let's go back. Wait, V, hold on. Too hold on. That's too soon to give up. You're. <laughs> hold on. Too soon to give up. There must be a way. Duh, I was kidding, you know? Look over there. It's one of those light switches. We just need to hit it. You can just fly to it, right? That's too much effort. I've got a better plan. A mighty beamerang. I just need to get in front of it and press circle to throw it. I'll trust you with this, then. Give it your best shot. Alright. Uh... Me. <laughs> well done, V. I wasn't expecting you to do that. Um, yeah, of course. Just as, I'm, just as planned. Let's continue. I'm glad to have a reliable partner. Super reliable. <laughs> Yeah. For what it's worth. Okay. What else do we have in this cave here? Another one of them spiky bugs. Ah, I keep first striking me. Um. So I need to get him. To use tornado toss on this guy. Oh, shit. I didn't realize he was attacking Kabu. I didn't know he could attack Kabu. Because he was behind me, but I guess he can. Alright. Nice. Leave this place. Beyond this point lies great danger. We have already brought one of yours we have already blanked one of ours to this wretched place curses this cozy canvas is an illusion our path won't be easy that much is for sure no place full of treasures ever been safe so many have faith looking for riches let's find the treasure quickly so no one else ventures in here i will do this for him okay I wonder how to first strike. Can I first strike with this? Uh, well, I ain't gonna find out now. Oh, damn it. Well, that's okay. I still knocked him down. Oh, I'm a Kabu's about to die. I gotta heal him.
That time I blocked it. Nice. Okay. So far, I'm really liking this game. It's got a lot of uh, interesting combat to it. It does feel a lot like Paper Mario. I know I'm going to reference that a lot, but truth is, it's pretty much is Paper Mario. Hmm. Okay, I guess I can't do anything up there yet. I uh, wonder where I'm supposed to be going here. Um. Oh, I had to knock that down. Okay. Oh, do I maybe have to... Ah, okay. That makes more sense. I didn't see that before. Interesting little puzzle. Yeah, that's definitely not a trap. A mushroom? What? We did all that? We did all that for that? Seriously? It wasn't even a rare item. Heck, it wasn't even a rare mushroom. Who designed this place? I will sting them in the face. I'll tear the place down. Come on. Come now, V. Unfortunate as it may be, let's pick it up and start looking again. This is a trap, man. Like, all right. A mushroom beyond average restores 3 HP to an ally and cures poison. Cool. An HP restoring item that also cures poison. Huh? What? Yeah! Phew, that was close. Uh, uh. Kabu, are you okay? Uh, uh. I guess he is. Hm. This is the perfect time to go home. I don't like the look of that place. But I'm his reliable... Roommate? I don't know. I Again, I'm sorry guys. I don't know what these words are saying. I might have to just look this up later. Or cancel this playthrough altogether if I can't even read the fucking text in this game. I'm going to something. Uh, no rush, I can wait. Ugh, I am lucky that mushroom broke my fall. I would have carried you, but you seem really heavy. I assure you, I am lighter than I seem. Uh huh. Anyway, this place is really creepy. I must agree. And there doesn't seem to be a way back up for me. We will have to look around. Let's be careful, okay? You are almost a goner. Now, sometimes I'm able to read what they're saying because it's obvious, it, it's obvious like, what the words missing are based on the sentence structure, but I don't always know what they're saying, so I kind of have to fill in the gap myself. All right. Got ourselves a little save gem there. Someone trapped in a spider web. Yikes. Is that a net? By the queen. What a terrible fate. Moan of silence. In solidarity for a fallen explorer. <laughs> I try to do my best snore. Wait, he's alive! Quick, we must free him. Okay, I'm just gonna I'm gonna go see if the beamerang can cut through the web. I'll make sure there are no other survi- V, watch out! Oh. Our first boss battle? Uh, uh, a spider! How, how could a... How could a big, huge spider sneak up on us? Kabu, we've got to run! Treasure ain't worth this! It's not that. We can't abandon this poor moth to his fate. I... I... Yeah, spiders eat bugs. V, V, wait, curses. This has to be so cruel irony. However, I can't give up, even if I'm alone. 
So it's me versus this thing alone. Well, I can't spy on it for some reason, so guess I'll attack it. That did nothing. Uh... It is stronger than it looks. Crud, it's too high. If only V was here. Must I really sit here and do nothing? Uh, yes. Literally do nothing. <laughs> it's too much by myself, after all. Everyone, I, I failed you. Waste, you wasted your hopes on me. Oh, now you come back. After I get tied up. V? Look, I... By the holy jaws of the queen, V, you left me to my fate. You are vile. Hey, I was gonna apologize, and I came back, right? You pushed me away from the web, but I still left, so I'm... I will probably scold you later. The situation is dire, but I've got a plan. We will attack the thing holding the moth while battling the spider. And we bail when we free him? Precisely. Except we run together this time, without leaving anyone behind. Here it comes. I can do this. So I'm assuming we have to attack the net while we fight the spider. Because we can't beat the spider. Yeah, it looks like it looks like that's what it wants us to do. Alright. That's a cool little battle plan. Seems easy enough to me. I knocked him down. Remember the plan, we must attack the web holding them off captive. Oh shit, now I can't actually attack the... I can't actually attack the web now, because he's in the way. I should not have done that. Oh, we freed him. Sweet. Alright, we did it! Be gone, wretched thing. Kabu, I'm done! Well... Well done. <laughs> Let's get out of here! <laughs> Leave us alone. Leave us alone, you crazy monster. <laughs> I, I'm i sorry, guys. I really don't know what they're saying. I can't... I literally can't see it. <sighs> Gee, glad it's too big to come in here. Um, Kabu, sorry about running away. <sighs> Very well. You are forgiven, V. It was understandable. It took you long enough. Most people would be crying at getting rescued. <laughs> Let's turn over a new leaf, V. This moth is our priority. <clears throat> You're awake. What the? Hey, are you okay? You hit your head? <laughs> Could this moth be speaking in an ancient tongue? Perhaps he is of the fabled tribes lurking underground. N no, we can speak Budnish. Do you need, like, a minute? No. We are fine now. Thank goodness, you had us quite worried. Where are we? Where is the spider? Right, let's get you up to speed. Alright, they're explaining the whole thing to them. Truly, it seems we were... It seems we've... Our life to... We owe our life to you, V. Seriously? No big deal. It sucks that we're trapped, though. Were you looking for treasure as well, alongside fellow explorers? Or what's your name? Leaf is fine, and... You... And something... What? A scouting mission, in fact. You... Got some... Something to be alive. Did you learn anything scouting about the artifact? Artifact. If it's here, it's probably up ahead. If we work together, we'll surely find both it and the exit. 
We have little choice. We will accompany you. Can you fight? Not really. Part... Something... Shouting? Scouting? I don't know. Seriously? You come into this place without knowing how to fight? Make sure to stay behind us so we can protect you. How reassuring. Okay, we spent too much time here. Let's look for the exit. Alright, so I guess I don't want this guy to lead the party since he can't attack. I think we'll leave off the episode here, guys. Um, I will once again attempt to fix this uh, issue with my recording so I can actually read the fucking text. Because it's just as annoying for me as it probably is for you guys. But in any case, I'm really enjoying playing this game so far. It is a lot like Paper Mario. And I hope you guys are enjoying this playthrough too. Um, so yeah, I'll see you, see you guys next time.